What is up guys, Evil Duos Arm here today, and today I have for you a new series coming to the channel. In this series, what I'm going to do is show you how to create your very own video game in Unreal Engine 4. The video game type we're going to be creating is a 2D side scroller, but everything you're going to learn in this video will help you to create anything like you see flashing along here. So some of the things we're going to cover in this series are things like character movement, animations, AI, inventory systems pickups, healths, UIs, interfaces, all sorts of different things that you see in any one of these sorts of video games. I'm going to show you how to actually go ahead and create them yourself, which is going to be pretty, pretty cool. And these sorts of concepts are going to apply to any of the different video games you see flashing across the screen right now in their little trailer. Um, all of these games have these same exact concepts. They're all coded the same way. It's just how you design your level. So in this game, it's going to be a 2D little side scroller game, super easy to learn, super easy to pick up, and then you can apply that knowledge to these games yourselves. So for the rest of the video, what I'm going to do is go ahead and show you how to get your project set up in Unreal Engine 4, download Unreal Engine 4, put our animations that we're going to use into the folder. We're all going to use the same animation so everybody knows what we're doing. Um, and basically everything you need to know to be able to start actually going ahead and coding the game. Uh, if you do know a lot of this, you can kind of skip through this parts of the video. Um, and it will drag on a bit if you do know how to do all this. If this is your first time, though, a lot of valuable information here. So first things first, to go ahead and get Unreal Engine 4. What you're going to need to do is head over to UnrealEngine.com, the Unreal Engine website. Um, basically, it's made by Epic Games, the same people that make Fortnite. You see it flashing across the screen there on their little promo video here. But anyway, to go to that, you're just going to go ahead and click Download in the top right corner. Download in the top right corner is going to go ahead and download Unreal Engine 4. Super simple. It's going to give you the Epic Games Launcher. If you already have Fortnite on your PC, you're already going to have this, and you can actually just go into the Epic Games Launcher itself and click the Unreal Engine tab and go ahead and install it. Super simple. After you've gone ahead and installed Unreal Engine 4, the most recent version is 4.19.2. It's what I currently have. Depending on when you watch this video, there might be a later release. Always use the most recent release and don't switch versions between projects. So if you're working on a project and a new version comes out, don't worry about that version. Just continue to work in the version you're in. You can upgrade projects to different versions, but it tends to have some problems going between versions, so it's really not worth the risk. Uh, just stay in your version that you are currently using when you are making a project. So anyway, all you're going to do is go ahead and click launch on this 4.19 dot two that you see here it'll also be down here if this is your only version of uh, unreal engine that you're using so that's going to bring up this menu that you see right here it's going to drop you into this projects tab if you don't have any projects created you're not going to have anything here so we're going to head over to new project which is where you're going to need to go anyway and we're going to pick the 2d side scroller template the 2d side scroller template is basically we're using it because it gives you all of your different control character controls already put into the game so you can just throw on your animations after you've selected the 2D side scroller template, you're going to need to go down to the bottom right here and select your save location. I save everything onto my D drive because it's my bigger drive and I can save space on my SSD. But anyway, so pick where you're going to save it. Go ahead and name your file. I'm going to call this 2D side scroller for YouTube. After you go ahead and pick your file name, you're going to have these three options along the bottom. The three options are going to be your desktop console or mobile tablet. Uh, so basically what your target audience is for. This video I'm going to be using desktop or console. If you want to follow along, stick with desktop and console. Um, next, you're going to need to pick your quality level of the game. So if you're making like a 3D high-end sort of game, you're going to want to pick your maximum quality. Because we're just making a 2D side-scroller, we're going to go scalable 3D or 2D, which basically means we can go between anything. If we're going for lower-end machines, we can use the lower-end uh, graphic settings. If we go for higher-end, we can use the higher-end. Pretty simple. And then finally, you're going to want to always start with starter content unless you're generating entirely everything on your own. For this project, we're taking some of the stuff from the starter content folders that come with Unreal Engine, so we're going to keep the starter content in the game. So with all that said, go ahead and click Create Project after you've got all of that set up. While we're waiting for this to go ahead and launch, we're going to head over to another tab here that I've got open. So this tab is where we're going to get all of our different character animations, and we're going to go ahead and get our little level design for it to start with. We're going to add more things in as we go, but this is going to give us a great start. So the ones we're going to use are going to be these Ninja Adventure characters. So you can use either one. They're the same exact animations. Um, the reason we're using these is because it gives you all sorts of different uh, skills that you're going to need to create different sorts of games. So we've got projectile throwing, we've got jumping, gliding, flying, all sorts of different like mechanics for character movement and animations. And we're going to be able to go ahead and show you how to apply those to all sorts of different things, spawn projectiles. It's a great little way to tutorial or show you how to run this. In addition to this, we need to pick our level design tile set as well. I want to pick this like daytime, watery, adventure sort of one. You could pick any one of the ones you want. You can just put different animation things in. You could use different combinations of them and use multiple areas when you design levels, which is probably what we'll end up doing in this game. But for the time being, we're just going to take the first ones. So this website is a great website. They have free assets for people to use. They also have a whole bunch of ones that you can go ahead and buy on your own if you want to go ahead and support the content creator here. They do a great job with these animations. So anyway, to go ahead and download these, all you're going to do is click on the one that you want. So I'm going to do the guy. You can do the guy or the girl same animations it can make it your own little personal game if you want and click this free download button right here it's going to go ahead and send it to your downloads folder same thing with the uh, tile sets here you're going to go ahead and click it free download and it will send it to your downloads folder 
So to keep our project organized, what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the folder that we created our, for our game. So mine is in my D drive, like I said, the UE4 tab, and then it's this YouTube side scroll game. So if I double click this, I'm going to create a new folder in here. So this folder is new folder, and I'm going to call this file source. So basically what I'm going to do is put all of my animations, all of my downloads, everything that I take to put into the game is going to go in this source folder so I know where everything is. So I have my source folder right here. Now I'm going to head over to my downloads tab where I have both of these downloads that I went ahead and picked up from the internet. So we're going to go ahead and right click and extract these to that source folder that we just created. Go to extract all and then you're going to pick browse and navigate to that same source folder. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And same thing with the other file. Once again, it's going to extract it. Now in here, when you get into this uh, folder here, you're going to want to create a new folder to kind of keep things organized. So this one is my character. So I'm going to just go ahead and type in character and I'm going to extract into this character folder. I did the same thing with tile set as you saw right there. So go ahead and click extract and it's going to extract those into that folder. It'll pop up when it's done and show you what it is done. So once again, we have our tile sets, we have our character. They're both in our source file. Cool. So now we've got our project opened over here. And we basically have everything we need to go ahead and get started. Um, as you can see, we got a little dude. He's kind of standing here walking around. We can hit play and kind of just uh, see what it does. And as you can see, we can move the character around with WASD. We can jump with spacebar. But these animations are pretty boring. And we're going to go ahead in the next video and make this our character. So yeah, that is basically everything we need to do to go ahead and get this project started. In the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to change this character out for our character that we just downloaded, our character animation files. So in that video, I'm going to show you how to make an animation flipbook, get your character all animated and running around in this little level that you see right here. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to stay updated when the next part of this video series comes out. And make sure to tune in for it so you can continue along with the project. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you at the next video. Peace.